Got some interesting information on Pokemon Go for you today as we have some new data thanks to Slice Intelligence who decided to take a look at the buying population of that particular title and their data has revealed that Pokemon Go's US paying population has declined 79% since the peak of in-game buyers on 15th of July. Now, Slice previously reported that Pokemon Go had brought new spenders into the mobile gaming market and basically indicated that the game introduced nearly two times as many in-game spenders to the gaming market in the weeks following Pokemon Go's launch. However, since then, the number of buyers in that particular market have returned to pre-Pokemon Go levels. However, despite all of this, Pokemon Go is still the most profitable mobile game. So while the peak of Pokemon Go has definitely passed, it is still an, it's the most lucrative mobile game. For example, last month in August, 28% of the dollars generated in the mobile game market was thanks to Pokemon Go. And the one second to that was Candy Crush Saga, which managed to get 4.5%. So basically Pokemon Go managed to get six times the revenue made by Candy Crush Saga. And just to put it into further perspective, Clash Royale has 2.2% and Clash of Clans has 2.5% and we all know how insanely popular both of those games are. It doesn't just stop there with generating the most revenue however, according to Slice's data, Pokemon Go is still maintaining a re relatively large amount of playing paying people. As of September the 3rd, nearly a quarter of all mobile game buyers made a purchase within Pokemon Go, despite the fact that the number of in-game spenders hit a massive decline. Now I've spoken about the impact that Pokemon Go has had outside of the game itself before, for example, Nintendo cited a rise in sales of games such as Pokemon Omega Ruby and X and Y and all the rest of that, you know, people are going from Pokemon Go to the actual quote-unquote real Pokemon games after being sort of enticed by the mobile version. And it doesn't stop there it seems, as revenue from branded Pokemon toys in games was 233% larger this August. August compared to the same time last year and branded apparel sales in August to outpace even last year's Halloween season which of course is when Pokemon apparel sales are historically the largest. So basically August managed to outpace last year's Halloween as well as last year's August when Halloween is the busiest period for Pokemon clothing and plushies and that sort of thing. So basically the long and short of it is despite the huge drop in paying people, Pokemon Go is still hugely successful and is beating the other most popular mobile games by a country mile. So, as I said many times now, myself, I never really had any interest in the game, it was a bit too simplistic for my taste and apparently some other people agreed as of course, you know, a lot of people checked out to see what the fuss was all about and have since left and perhaps people were playing it, for playing it for a while, got bored and then left, but even with all that in mind, it's still a hugely successful game and if it's getting more people into, you know, the mainstream Pokemon games, it's getting more people into Pokemon, then what? who am I to complain? Pokemon is a great series, I buy every iteration on 3DS. I will be getting Pokemon Sun when it comes out. I bought all the ones pretty much since Heart Gold and played all the others growing up. So yeah, I'm not going to complain about getting more people into Pokemon. So congrats to Niantic, I suppose. And uh, this success will definitely motivate them to keep updating it in the future, which is definitely good for the people still playing. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.